Welcome back to the God of War Platinum series. Now I've platinumed every single God of War game up to this point, and today I'm going to be going for God of War Ragnarok's Platinum Trophy. We begin the game three years into Fimble Winter, as Kratos and Atreus begin making their way home after a successful hunt. But on the way back, they are attacked by Freya, who ends up failing to kill Kratos thanks to Atreus' help, and once they made it back home, one of the wolves was on the verge of dying, so Atreus then asks Kratos to let him grieve and bury the wolf. Kratos allows it and then falls asleep, and it is during this sleep that Kratos dreams about his wife, but is awoken by Mimir, who was worried since Atreus had not returned home. Kratos then leaves the house and begins searching for Atreus, and after searching for a while, we finally found something. Atreus, where are you? Found the bear. Ow, holy shit. Tell me where Atreus is at, bear man. All right, please tell me the bear's dead. Hey, don't touch him. Try to poke his eyes out. What? After subduing Atreus, the two argue about Atreus wanting to learn more about Loki, which only creates more tension between the two. This is exactly what the prophecy wants. And we got the trophy a grisly encounter, Battle the Bear. Kratos and Atreus then returned home and called it a night. I don't want to go back to sleep though, I have bad nightmares. They scare me. What was that? The ball. Oh wait, we saw this in the, uh, the end of God of War. I didn't put it in the video, but I saw it. Thor! That's Thor, right? The hammer? It was indeed Thor, but he came bearing mead, and he just wanted to talk. Kratos reluctantly lets Thor into his home, and the two sit down to chat. But moments into their conversation, someone else knocked on the door. Alright, why is everyone just coming to my house? What is this? Don't tell me this is Odin. Odin enters our home and makes an offer to Kratos. If he and Atreus do not antagonize the Aesir gods, Odin and Thor would leave them be in order to maintain peace. Odin then reveals that Atreus has been secretly searching for Tyr, who is presumed to be dead. Kratos then refuses the deal and an irritated Odin walks off. Don't take all day. What'd he say? I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. Well, your sons were assholes, I'm sorry. Now, Thor was obviously upset that we killed his two sons, and he was also probably upset that we killed his half-brother, but that does not give him the right to belittle me. Did my son die, you blind fucking luck? No, your sons sucked, I'm sorry. I mean, I have to keep saying it, because they, they did. You think you can come here? Become a daddy. Oh, I'm a daddy, all right. You used to be, right? Until I killed your children. Is that... Oh, what? No. I say when we're done. I thought I actually failed. I was like, how did I just fail that? Thanks for bringing me back to life. I appreciate it. I continued the battle after defying death for the 67th time in the series, and Thor was not having any of it as he shattered my shield and then began to spit in my face. I see why my sons fell to you, but I... I am not my sons, and your boy, all father, has plans for him. Epic slow motion punch, Kratos. There he is. There's the god of war. Consider your blood debt paid. Thor tells us he'll be seeing us later and then flies off. And a wounded Kratos immediately wants to get back to his son as Brock and Sindri arrive. Oh my gosh, it's Brock. No. And we got the trophy blood debt. That is for battling the god of thunder. As we make our way back to the house, Brock offers to let us stay in Sindri's house after assuming we aren't safe in our old home anymore. And as we return home, we find Atreus safe and sound. Kratos is upset that Atreus hid that he was looking for Tyr on his own. Atreus then tells Kratos that while he was gone, Odin invited him to Asgard. Kratos then realizes how much this actually means to Atreus, so the two head over to one of the shrines we found in the first game, and on our way there I had the opportunity to purchase a skill. We might get a trophy for this, we've gotten trophies for this in the past, so I'm assuming we'll get one in this game as well. I'm gonna purchase Chaotic Rampage 1. And we did get a trophy, knock off the rust, and that is for purchasing a skill. We then arrived at the shrine which contained a secret room inside of it that reveals the real fate of the two giant wolves. The shrine depicts Tyr leading the war in Ragnarok which helps reinforce Atreus' belief that he is still alive. And after witnessing the prophecy, the two head back to their home where Sindri awaits to take us back to his house. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? Well, Brock's my favorite. Sindri, you, you're on a different, uh, tier list. As you can see, We've settled here in the realm between realms. Even though I like Brock better, your house is pretty nice. Now, if you would just wipe your feet, you're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Come on, Kratos. The man just wants you to wipe your feet. Hey! Brock! Yeah! What in all yarns me the happen to him? 
too damn tall now. I blame you. And this is why Brock is my favorite character. Can we just get a game based on Brock? After I gushed over Brock for the thousandth time, I went over to their workbench and upgraded a piece of armor. I gotta upgrade this. Since Atreus had been going out on his own, and we had just recently been to a shrine, he deduced that Tyr was located in Svartalheim. And after Brock and Sindri learn of our plans to travel to Svartalheim, they suggest that we go find the dwarf named Durlin. We then travel to Svartalheim, and after a long journey, we finally reach Durlin. And after Durlin finds out that his former comrade Faye has passed away, he secretly gives Atreus directions to find Tyr. We then travel to the prison that he was located in and began to tear down the door that kept him locked up. He better be tall. You don't look that tall to me. We found Tyr, but he had clearly suffered mentally due to being in prison and had made a vow against violence after years of torture. Kratos then showed him Mimir in hopes to get him to join us, but instead it scares him off as he only knows us as the god killer. We then chased him down and tried to make things better. Listen, it's okay. I killed Mimir because he told me to kill him. You want to make out? I thought you would be taller though. Welcome aboard. Oh, now that's more what I was expecting. The group then returns home, and Kratos enters his room to chat with Mimir about how finding Tyr might have been a mistake. Atreus ends up hearing all of this, so him and Sindri sneak away to go to Midgard in order to try and recruit Freya. Before finding Freya though, Atreus talks to the giant snake from the first game and asks if there's any way to avoid Ragnarok, but the only reply he got back was to go to Ironwood. Atreus then meets Freya and reveals to her that Odin briefly visited Midgard. Freya then refuses to tag along and warns Atreus to never approach her again. As the two make their way home, Sindri informs Atreus that Brock actually died and Sindri was able to partially bring him back from the dead. The two then arrived back at home and I had to think of a great excuse to explain where I'd been. Where have you been? I was out for a smoke break. Pee? No, you ah, you don't pee for that long. Kratos, Atreus, and Tyr then travel to Alfheim to see what secrets grow a shrine may hold within it. And as we made our way to the shrine, I felt the need to assert my dominance as the true god of war. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. Hey, you wouldn't understand. You don't have a video game about yourself. I have eight video games about myself. You don't even have one. He's the fake god of war, and he's going to turn on us. I don't trust you. I'm the real god of war. I'm not having an identity crisis, I promise. After I got all that off my chest, we reached the shrine, and it revealed that Groa lied about the Ragnarok prophecy to Odin. Instead of all the nine realms being destroyed, a champion will unite the realms against Asgard, and only the Aesir realm will be destroyed through warfare. Upon learning this, Tyr is visibly upset that he leads an attack on Asgard, and states that he will not let prophecy define him. They then return home where we all sit down together and enjoy a nice meal. A meal fit for a champion? I said we would speak no more of that. Didn't mean to offend. I'm not offended. You really don't think it means anything? But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- <gasps> Oh, Atreus, my son, and nothing more. I'm not hungry anymore. Atreus then heads to his room and suddenly wakes up in Ironwood. He is approached by Angraboda, who shows him around. During this tour, Atreus finds out that his father has a death prophecy, which obviously upsets him. Angraboda then informs him that almost all the Jotnar souls are placed in marbles so Odin would not find them. And after finding that out, we see Angraboda's grandmother, who has been consuming animal souls for her pleasure. Atreus and Angraboda head to her grandma's house to save the most recent animal, and while they are there, they revive a snake by imbuing it with the soul of a giant. Atreus then finds the wolf that Angraboda's grandmother captured, and right after he freed it, she caught him. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting boss fight. Put that ass on that candle. Thank you. Sorry, I had to go there, Grandma. That's a little too far. Give us the cauldron. There's no way you should lose this fight, Grandma. You're like 12 foot 7. No! I should have thrown you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. This is the first time I can remember ever fighting a grandma in a video game. And we got the trophy, the cauldron, and that is for destroying Gryla's cauldron. After defeating Gryla, it was time for Atreus to head home. And for the safety of the Jotnar race, Angraboda tells Atreus not to tell anyone about Ironwood. Angraboda helps Atreus return home, but he is mistakenly sent to his house in Midgard. Atreus attempts to return home, but not before Kratos finds him and questions why he has been missing for two whole days. But our talk was cut short due to some enemies. Oh, not another Valkyrie. Freya takes advantage of Kratos recognizing her and slices his leg. Atreus then transforms into a bear to help Kratos, but Kratos stops him from attacking Freya. Freya then presents an offer to Kratos that she needs our help with. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Guess it's just us then. This is why I love Brock. And we got the trophy Backyard Brawl, and as for battling the mysterious Valkyrie, the group then travels to Vanaheim to break Freya's curse. Brock then falls for a trap, which was placed by Freya's brother, Freyr. Freya tells him that they are allies, and he quickly stops being hostile towards us. Brock decides to hang back at the camp while Kratos and Freya make their way to the source of the curse, which is protected by a multi-dimensional dragon. Why are you all the way back there? Go after it! Oh, you want me to go up towards it? Alright, I'll drag it out of this portal. 
I liked fighting it in the portal. It was easier. After ripping it out of the portal, I thought it was going to be a more difficult boss fight. But after breaking the curse, the dragon was no match for Kratos and Freya. Cut it in half. Or just cut its head off. The iconic God of War way of killing something. Just cut its head off. After defeating the dragon, Freya fully freed herself from the curse, which now allowed her to fully roam the nine realms. Freya still is not forgiving Kratos for what he has done, and she tells us that she will always be angry, but that Odin is the one who needs to die. And as we were getting ready to go back to her brother's camp, I picked up an amulet. So these were not in the last game, but I'll equip it. And we got the trophy how it started, and that is for equipping an enchantment. And we got the trophy the root of the problem, and that is for battling the hog. We then arrive back at the camp, and Freya and Freya finally air out their differences, resulting in them reconciling. Back at Sindri's home, Kratos wants to know if Atreus has been going to Asgard when he's been sneaking off. Upon hearing this, Atreus immediately gets upset that his father does not trust him, and then the entire group proceeds to disagree with Atreus' idea of traveling to Asgard, which angers him to the point of no return. He storms off as a bear, travels to Midgard, and then is transported to Asgard where he meets a Midgard refugee, and then climbs the wall surrounding Asgard. And as he reached the top, he was introduced to Heimdall, the god of foresight. He he then leads us to Odin's cabin, but then begins to attack us as he believes we do not have good intentions for the Allfather. This seems like it's not even bothering you. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Alright, listen, I like the Heimdall from the Marvel movies a tad bit better than you. You are just an asshole. This isn't working. Nothing is working. So, keep doing it! I mean, obviously, nothing was working there. I am profoundly unimpressed. Thanks. Thor then intervenes and Odin arrives to show Atreus around Asgard. He then has Atreus translate a text from a mysterious mask. After Atreus deciphers it, Odin sends Thor and Atreus to Muspelheim to get the next piece of the mask. While on the journey, Atreus convinces Thor to attempt Surtur's trials while he sneaks off to find the secret prophecy behind Surtur's shrine. Angra Boda shows up and they discover Surtur can only destroy Asgard if he combines with his lover, Senmara. Atreus returns to Thor and the two manage to get the second piece of the mask. Back at Sindri's home, Kratos has a plan to go talk to the fates of Norse mythology. They then travel to Midgard and take a seahorse underwater where they end up meeting the Norns who ended up telling us the most obvious thing in the history of obvious things. You will die, Kratos of Sparta. There must, there must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard and you will do what you do best. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. <laughs> Common mistake in storycraft. We are I'm at a loss for words. They know exactly what we'll do. They know our every move because we are so predictable. As we leave the Norns, Freya comes across Odin's noose and decides to take it in case she needs to use it in the future. We then arrive home and discuss what we learned with the group. Brock suggests that in order to take down Heimdall, a duplicating ring named Dropnir will have to be modified into a weapon. They then head to Spartelheim to meet the only thing capable of forging the Dropnir spear. However, while the spear was forged, the lady completely ignored Brock. She did not even acknowledge him. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I fucking die! It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right, may this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. I hope Brock wins an award for best supporting character in a video game of all best game of best video game supporting character of all time. That's the title he gets. We then attempted to head home, but not before we were greeted with a surprise visit from Odin. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. What do you even know? of godhood in your lifetimes has anyone ever worshipped you can you even imagine that kind of love no is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you Kratos returns home and dreams of another memory of Fae and a baby Atreus. Back in Asgard, Atreus and Thor's daughter are summoned by Odin. Odin then sends the two of them, plus Heimdall, to Helheim to find the final piece of the mask. Heimdall ends up leaving them behind as he has another mission that he was given by Odin. So the two of us begin our journey and approach the final piece. Hey, big fella. This is obviously going to go so well that there's going to be no hiccups in our plan. You always want to free the giant wolf. That's the best thing to do. You look malnourished. Are you hungry? Ow. We for sure won't have to fight that thing later. 
Nah, why would we? It turns out that the final piece was not located in this realm. Heimdall then returns and scolds them for releasing the wolf, revealing that they had just released a hellhound that can tear through the fabric of reality. They return to Asgard and Atreus asks Odin to send him home. Odin sadly accepts the request as he does not want Atreus to feel like a prisoner. Atreus arrives back home to see hellwalkers attacking due to a rift created by Garm. And while Atreus helps Freya seal it up, it was time to showcase our new weapon as Kratos. Spartan Wrath equipped a burst of- Oh! Massive damage to one enemy. He's too busy looking at my new weapon. There we go. Freya and Atreus successfully closed the rift. Atreus then ran into Kratos' arms and began to explain what had happened. It was a wolf in hell, and I set him free. I thought that if- Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you feed Garm! What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck up of not insignificant proportions. Me and my boy have to go solve all of his issues he caused. And we got the trophy Spartan Ways, and that is for remembering the Spartan teachings. Kratos and Atreus then traveled to Helheim and began the boss fight with Garm. We gotta dodge all these shots. Catch. Oh, that's not dodgeable. Oh, oh no. I know it was a vicious big ass wolf, but you hate to see it die. And we did get the trophy off the leash, and that is for battling Garm. We then got ready to leave Helheim. And as it turns out, I had no reason to be sad as Garm was not dead. Not dead. I see. I take it all back. I really wish you were dead now. It was now time for round two, but once again, Garm was not dying. So Atreus came up with a plan of stabbing Garm in the head with his soul imbued knife, and after doing so, we slowly approached Garm. Fenrir? <laughs> I bet that stunk like ass. See what I can do when you trust me? This makes me want to go hug my dog. Fenrir then returns home at the request of Kratos. And before Kratos and Atreus return home, they reveal the secrets that they've been hiding from each other the entire game. And then Kratos apologizes to Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, father. Be better. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. They then return home, and Atreus explains to the group what Odin is overly obsessed with. Tyr then reveals that this is what Odin had tortured him over. Freya wants to take the fight to Odin right now, but seeing how no one else wants to, she travels back to Vanaheim to assist her brother. We then travel to Vanaheim soon after to help out, but before we helped out, we found Skull and Hadi and signaled them to turn day back into night. We then arrived at the camp and teamed up with Freya to save her brother. But as we made our way there, the man of the hour arrived. Oh, Fortnite, it's Heimdall. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Oh, yay. I can't wait to fight the guy who knows my every single move. He's like Taskmaster, but worse. Am I ever going to lay a hit on him? Obviously, I was not succeeding. So maybe I should use the weapon we made specifically to take down Heimdall instead of my fist. I got a strategy. I'm just going to place the field with mines. And then hopefully you teleport to one of them. Nope, it's not really working. Oh, wow. You actually hit me. It's got to be so embarrassing for you. I thought you couldn't get hit. What happened to that? We're so close. Goodbye, Heimdall. Just as the prophecy foretold. Maybe I won't kill him, so the prophecy does not come true. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to get him. You do not get to decide my fate! Yay, round two. I know you're an asshole, but I tried to spare your life, okay? Just so I could, you know, change fate. This isn't who you want to be. It's not who he wants to be, but it's who he has to be. We tried to spare him. And we got the trophy comeuppance, and that is for battling Heimdall. After Kratos eliminated Heimdall, he helped Freyr and the rest of the crew get to safety. We then returned home. Kratos then announces that Heimdall is gone by placing his horn on the table. Atreus then convinces Kratos to let him go back to Asgard to get the final piece of the mask. But before Atreus left, Sindri gave him an item that could get him out of a bad situation should he find himself in one. And after receiving the gift, Atreus made his way to Asgard. I just don't see this ending well. Heimdall's dead. Happened to know 
Something about that? He might just be on vacation. Maybe he's not actually dead. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. I think he knows. I mean, he's not a stupid, dumb idiot like Atreus thinks he is. Atreus then realized his mistake with the translation and deciphered that the final piece was located in Niflheim. We then met up with the drunken Thor and then traveled to Niflheim to get the final piece. The two end up talking about their lives to each other, but once they grab the final piece of the mask, Odin arrives. We did it. We are on the verge of great things. I'm sorry, you are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For Leave him alone. I command it. He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! Oh, he just owned your ass. Sip then talks to Thor and reminds him that Atreus is also responsible for the death of his sons. Thor then attempts to attack Atreus. Luckily, Atreus used the item Sindri gifted him and teleported out of Niflheim with a mask in his possession. Kratos then picks him up and takes him home, and Atreus shows the entire group the completed mask. And seeing that we have fully completed the mask, prompts Tyr to finally step up to the plate. This is what I'm needed for. I will lead us to Asgard. Just as the prophecy for told excuse me but if you got a way to asgard where's that idea been this whole fucking while Max, not that a fair question brother you would have gotten us all killed and we needed to give loki time to find his destiny it's all led to this let's do it then and quickly before he sees us coming he does hate surprises i love surprises i still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to asgard you got let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Brock? That belongs to the kid. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you never. Hey, what the hell? Hey. I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you'll regret. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. I am in control! Throw me the mask! I was not expecting that. I I, I did not even suspect that. Looks like war after all. Odin was able to get away, but not with the mask. And now it was time to say goodbye to a legend. Brock was the only smart one here. RIP to my favorite character. You brought many laughs into our lives. After all of that had occurred, Atreus and Kratos then decide to head back to Midgard for a hunt to get their mind off of things. And I was still blown away by the twist. I mean, I knew Odin was not a big dumb idiot. It was really good on his part. I'll give him that. He literally called him the champion to uh, instigate all that shit earlier. As Atreus finds an animal to kill, Kratos lowers his bow and states that they are running from their problems. They then go to visit Sindri who is not doing too well. He is upset with Atreus since he is the one who brought fake Tyr into their home. They then return to Freya and are directed to go find Surtur and have him form into Ragnarok. When we meet Surtur, he denies a request as combining into Ragnarok would result in his lover dying. But then he realizes that he could use Kratos' blades to become Ragnarok since he holds Sidmaro's heart in his chest. We then stab him in the heart with the blades, which creates Ragnarok. But then these two sisters ruined a good time. No way. Are your helves combined? Oh, that's tough. Gotcha, Histon Mist. You've got to be kidding me. Too easy. Should have known. No. Ow. Ow. We're so close, Atreus. Come on. They better not heal up for a second time. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 you guys don't have any health anymore. What are you doing? I need to rip your wings off. Don't. You're kidding. Come on. No, so close. I have a resurrection stone. We're good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh no. This is not what you wanted. I'm supposed to rip your wings off. Get away from me. The best duo in the Nine Realms. Better together. Battle Rest and Miss. It doesn't matter how I pronounce their names. They tried to kill us. Who cares? Kratos and Atreus return to Midgard, and Freya tells them that the last part of their plan is to appoint a general to lead them, and she wants Kratos to do such. Kratos sleeps on it and dreams of Faye once again. But this time, when Kratos wakes up, he is not scared. Instead, he wakes up knowing that he must lead the attack on Asgard. He delivers an inspirational speech and uses Heimdall's horn to allow travel to Asgard. When we arrive, our army is already falling to Asgard's defenses. Sindri then arrives and takes down a defense, but also taking down innocent Midgard. 
Midgard refugees in the process. And this is not what Atreus wanted, so Kratos lets off a signal to cease fire. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we- We will stop Odin, but we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimbo's flaw. That's suicide. It may be, but we will die seeking justice. Atreus and Sindri proceed to the wall but are stopped by Throod as she attempts to kill Atreus. She is then stopped by her mother who tells her that Odin only cares about himself. She then helps us break down the wall as we reunite with Kratos. As we enter Asgard we witness Thor fighting Jormungandr. Thor then takes a big swing on Jormungandr and sends him back in time to the first game. And after doing this, Thor shifts his focus onto Kratos. Alright Thor. Done with you and your son. No more fucking games! Jeez, lay off the mead, buddy. <laughs> I beat Heimdall, dude. I'm not really worried about you. What do you think I'm doing? Thor, listen, we could work together, buddy. I could get you into the movies. There's a whole movie about you. You could be a movie star. Here we go. I'm zapping you. You like that? Good night, Thor. I'm not going to kill you, though. I know you have a daughter. I won't kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. That's not who I am anymore. Heimdall, he didn't let me spare him. Your daughter, my son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her, I would not. Don't you know what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? For the sake of our children, we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I didn't want this. Why does everyone say that when they kill someone? No! This was all their fault. Oh, shit. Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You've never loved anyone. He's like, yeah, you know all the times that I did the bad things, I, it was out of love. It was out of love. I loved you. What can I say? It's how I show my love. Oh, crap. We're in the room with the uh, fracture. This is your choice, son. I trust you. No! 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 Yeah, I should have known that was not the end of the fight. I really wanted to see what was in that thing, though. Okay, I just can't hit him. Give up or die. I mean, you're gonna die anyway. Might as well go out swinging. Goodbye, Odin. No one liked you. I'm sorry. It's just true. This was our chance. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. Said it was our chance, but all you say is I, 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 I. Atreus then removes Odin's soul from his body and places it inside of his marble. Kratos hands it to Freya to let her decide Odin's fate, but she does not want it as she does not need it to be whole anymore. So she hands it back to Atreus, who clearly was not holding it tight enough. All right, well, anything for Brock. Sindri teleports away and Ragnarok is close to destroying Asgard. Freya then sacrifices his life to ensure everyone else is able to escape out of the realm before its imminent destruction. Atreus takes a hit to the head as he attempts to escape and wakes up in Midgard sometime later. Well, we did it. We got the trophy Ragnarok, and that is for battling the Allfather. Atreus then reunites with Kratos and Angerboda. Angerboda then shows us Faye's shrine, which shows that she was the one who destroyed the murals so that they could forge their own path and not be destined by prophecy. Atreus then states that he must go alone to find the rest of the giants, and a saddened Kratos supports the choice he makes. Atreus and Angerboda leave, but then Kratos finds out that there's another shrine behind Faye's, and the last part of the shrine depicts Kratos being worshipped as a god, not feared. So yeah. Suck it, Odin. All right, so after beating the game, the first trivia that I'm going to go for is for paying respects to a friend who we're going to be attending Brock's funeral. I then entered the tavern to begin the mission, and I was caught off guard because Brock's dead body was laying on the table. I didn't know he'd, I didn't know we'd be having an open casket like this without the casket. Thank you for being such a funny and lovable character, Brock. They haven't killed any other character beside you. We then gave Brock a proper Viking funeral. Sindri said his goodbyes to him, and Freya shot the flame into the air and lit him on fire. Kratos then tried to console Sindri, but he was not having any of it. I love Brock, okay? Don't you ever say I didn't love him. I showed him all the love. I never showed you any love, Sindri, so I apologize for that. R.I.P. Brock, you will always be my favorite character. 
and we got the trophy a funeral for a friend and that is for attending the funeral now these next couple of trophies that i went for were all collectible ones so we're going to run through those right now the first one i got was for collecting all of the books then i got one for collecting all of the artifacts then i got one for collecting all of the shields then one for obtaining a flower from each realm and then one for collecting all of the apples and horns and then for the next trophy that i was going for i had to free the giant jellyfish and now i just have to freeze this and the giant jellyfish should appear. There it is. We freed it. I've never been stung by a jellyfish and I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. Now it was time to free the beast that Mimir chained up many winters ago to harvest its fat for oil. And to free it, I needed to break the three chains holding it down. And while I was making my way to the third one, Mimir was regretting the decision he made in the past. I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. It's not a damn carton of milk, Mimir. Be free, an oil monster. I don't know what you are. All right, so we got to give the creature a little bit of encouragement. So we're going to boat up to its eyeball. I don't know, stab it, poke it, pat it on the back. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but it's going to be some motivational words that are going to get it going. Come on, you great blubbering beast. Shoot. Why is it not moving? Hey, I can't blame it. If it likes its spot, it likes its spot. I'm not going to be the one to force it out of its spot. And we got the trophy making amends. And that is for freeing the Lingbocker. To obtain the next trophy, all I had to do was collect Lunda's orb. All right, so we're in here looking for a mysterious orb. And I think this is it right here. Lunda's orb. Be cautious. We know not what it does. Ah, I know that face. You got something for me, don't ya? How could you tell? It's glowing out of my asshole, isn't it? Oh, it's for your dog? It's her favorite hole. What? Um, I got the trophy new friends, but uh, you might want to wash your dog's mouth after chewing that toy. To get the next trophy, Freya had to find the sword that Odin gifted to her on their wedding day. Are we going to keep this sword? I think we should keep it. Don't break it. Well, hopefully you can help out in the battles a little more now that you got a new sword. Just a suggestion from me. And we got the trophy. It was a good day. And that is for retrieving her sword. And after we got that trophy, this also happened. Oh, got me there. For the next trophy, I had to find Durlin's hammer. I'll get that hammer in a, in a jiffy. Did you know that a jiffy is a measurement of time, buddy? I bet you didn't. Durlin's hammer. Hey, buddy, I got your hammer. If I give you this hammer, I want all the food on your table. And we got the trophy rebel leader. That is for returning the hammer of the rebellion. To obtain the next trophy, I had to fully repair the amulet we got earlier in the game. What's up? RIP Brock. I still miss him. Sindri, not so much. And here we go. The final socket that I'll need to repair to get the trophy. And we got it. How's it going? And that is for fully repairing the amulet of... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I'm just going to embarrass myself even more. To get the next trophy, all I had to do was clear the four raider camps in Midgard. All right, it is now time to take down the final raider camp and then hopefully be able to pet my wolves and tell them that it's all okay. I've defeated all the baddies. You don't have to worry anymore. Here we go. Another coal raider camp. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. What do you think we're doing? Honestly. Like, what do you think we're doing right now? We're going to enter the final raider camp and put my wolves to rest. I mean, no shit. And put my wolves to ease, not to rest. They're not going to die. Kratos, their chieftain. What? What does that mean? Oh, Olaf. I did not expect to see you here. Hello. Goodbye, Olaf. Well, now that he's dead, my wolf should be at ease. Good boys. I got rid of the baddies. There's no need to worry. Yes. Good girls. And we got the trophy besties as for petting Specky and Savannah. The next trophy that I was going for was to clear all nine crater hunts. Now, I apologize if PETA is watching this because for the final one, I had to get some live bait to lure the beast out. Come here. Come follow Papa Kratos. All right, guys. Come on. I'm stuck in here with it. This is not what we want. Nailed it. Okay, so I hope we only needed one of them because I killed the other one. Goodbye. Thank you for your sacrifice for this trophy, wild beast. Some sacrifices have to be made to get the trophies. Now, I would have had to kill that animal anyway, so is it really a sacrifice? You tell me. So I'm not really sure what's going to be on this other side, but it's, uh... Okay, Freya, what are you doing? Are you scared of it? We can't be scared of it. We got to fight it. We got to be strong. I'm going to use all my powers on you. You see, when you have an epic build like I have, a slaghorn is no match. And we got the trophy Invasive Species, and that is for completing all of the crater hunts. For the next trophy, I had to return the stags of the Four Seasons. And here it is. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? What a comedic presence. I guess it was that simple. And you sort of saved my ass too. 
No problem. I got you. To get the next trophy, I had to capture six baby worms who escaped since we killed their mother when breaking Freya's curse. These things are pretty interesting. I mean, just like the stags, they were also very easy because I had already found them all. I just hadn't been able to capture them. And that's the last of them. Spectacular work. Not that I care. You mean nothing to me. Nothing at all. Definitely not heartbroken after <laughs> hearing that. We then returned to the realm in between realms and placed them back where they belonged. Don't know how they all fit in there. Maybe that's what all the characters I use in video games do. And we got the trophy, the rightful place. All right, so these next couple of the trophies that I'm going to be going for are going to take a lot of fighting out of me. So I'm going to be crafting the dragon scaled armor so that I can get the dragon slayer trophy. Now, I don't plan on using this armor, but I need to get the trophy. And also, I thought it was a good segue into the next couple of trophies that are taking place after this. So we'll craft the breastplate, craft the wrist armor, and craft the girdle. And we got the trophy dragon slayer that is for crafting the dragon scaled armor set now it was time to complete all 15 of the trials in muspelheim and to this day in my opinion nothing compares to the first god of war games challenge of the gods but i digress i had done 14 of the challenges which meant only one remained and here we go my final muspelheim trial for this one i have to survive until the time ends now i'm not sure how long the time will be but i think 30 seconds is definitely long enough so if it happens to be any longer than that i think we should fix the challenge you know for the next game work on the time because th three 300 seconds is way too long. We are already 10 seconds down. This is going to be a breeze. Okay, it's getting a little bit crowded as we have a minute remaining, but I still feel confident that we got it. 30 seconds remain. Still looking good. Okay, whoops. Almost got hit there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh shit. One. We got it. That is for completing the trials of Muselheim. All right, so the next trophy that I'm going for is to max out an armor set. And after completing the trials, I finally have enough smoldering embers to max out this chest piece and get the trophy. And there's the trophy ready for commitment. I'm not, but that is for fully upgrading one armor set. Next, I was going for two trophies. One to obtain all sword hilts and relics. And the second one was to take down the King Berserker. And to obtain both of these trophies, all I had to do was take down the King. All right, as you see, we got the counter in the bottom left. I'm very nervous for this fight. I feel like I have a good build for my Kratos, but I also feel like I'm going to get my ass kicked immediately. Okay, this is not going how I wanted it to go. Damn, he just destroyed my health. But I still have my Berserker Stone. Get my health back. Get my health back. And I'm dead. And I'm dead again. Damn it. Damn it, dude. On attempt number 11, I was finally making a dent on his health, but he was also making a dent on mine. This is the closest I've ever gotten. I need health. Nope, I need health. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. No, oh, I was the closest I've ever been. And on attempt number 12, I was able to get even closer. But was I going to be able to finish? No, one bar of health left. One little sliver of health left. Attempt number 13 was more or less the same story. But on attempt number 14, something was just different. My health wasn't as low and I felt good. I got you right where I want you, buddy. I got you right where I want you. Gotta have it here. You cannot choke this. No, 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 no. Come on, I got this. Yes. I got the sword. That's for battling the king. And we got the collector trophy. That is for obtaining all relics and sword hilts. And with that, it brings us to the final trophy in the game. Now this one I specifically saved for last as this one you have to defeat the new Valkyrie queen. But before we get into the fight, I want to thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. And to celebrate it, I'm going to be doing a $100 PlayStation gift card giveaway. To enter, all you gotta do is comment below. Now let's get into the fight. Here we go. No, no, no. Okay, well, there is our first death. Hey, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I just asked you not to kill me. That's just disrespectful. What good's a shield if you're not gonna use it? Thanks, Mamir. Appreciate that. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Death after death after death. It's what usually occurs in these videos, but I was not going to let any of that stop me. This is it. I got her. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. One bar of health left. I still have my Berserker Stone. I can be confident that I got it, right? This is it. 
No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Thank you for just giving up as I was about to die. Look away, guys. This is gonna get graphic. <laughs> Why do you have to cut someone's head off on the final trophy? I'm gonna have to blur it out now. And we got the trophy True Queen, and that is for battling Ganon. And the Platinum Trophy, the bear and the wolf. And that is for collecting all of the trophies in the game, which means we have collected every single trophy in every single God of War game to date. So like I said, that's going to be it for the God of War series. As of now, there's no more games to Platinum. I'm assuming there'll be another one dropping in a couple of years. And I hope you did enjoy the video. And I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Where we at, whatever you're doing. Have a good one.